In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the power of dodging and burning in Luminar and how it allows you to control the way your image looks by contouring your image with light by painting bright and dark areas in your photo. Dodging and burning is derived from the darkroom days when you were able to make areas darker or brighter by controlling how much light was hitting the photographic paper. With darkroom printing, the more light that is hitting an area, the darker the area will be, and that is burning. And then when you block light with an area to kind of make it lighter, that's called dodging. It seems a little bit opposite from what we know with digital, but the concept is carried over and it's a lot easier and much more simple to do with digital. So I'll be using this photograph. I'm gonna do a quick before and after so you can see what I've done so far. I've made some basic adjustments to the tone and the contrast. I even enhanced the color a little bit, but not too much. And I can really see that this photo can benefit from some dodging and burning. When I'm working on a photo that has a very distinct pathway, such as this image, dodging and burning is almost always a go-to. I really like to highlight those paths. It kind of draws the viewer's eyes and helps them kind of look down that path a little bit more. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Right now I'm in the edit view and I have the professional category active and then I selected dodge and burn. It's a very simple tool with only two options. And to get started, I'll click on Start Painting. Next, I'll head over to the options at the top where I have three different choices. I have Lighten, Darken, and Erase. Now, Lighten, of course, will make areas brighter. Darken will make those areas darker. And Erase will erase any of the brush strokes that I've made in my image. I also have a brush size and a strength. I'm going to reduce the strength setting down to somewhere between 15 and 20. I always brush at a lighter brush stroke. It allows me to kind of layer those strokes as opposed to just making one big sweeping brush stroke. I feel like it blends the effect a little bit better with my image. So I have that lighten mode active and now I'm just gonna go down to my image and I'll begin brushing. Right now I'm going to focus on this pathway. So I'm just going to brush over the pathway. I'm lifting up and brushing and lifting up and brushing. I wanna make sure I'm really layering all of those brush strokes. I'm gonna increase my brush size quickly by using that right bracket key and just kind of lift and just make sure I'm making a lot of different brush strokes to really fill in this pathway. I'm gonna reduce my brush size using that left bracket key and I'm going to brush over the woman to make her a little bit brighter. I'm just lifting up and brushing, layering those brush strokes. I'm going to reduce it again and make sure I get the top part of her, just kind of tapping a little bit. And I'll get her leg here as well. I'm gonna go over to my tool and just toggle this on and off real quickly to see what I've done so far. And this looks pretty good, so I'm going to keep these lighten settings, but now I'm gonna add some darkness. So I'm gonna click Start Painting again, go up to Darken. I need to go back to my strength setting. I'm going to reduce it. Again, somewhere between 15 and 20. Sometimes I go as low as 10, it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling that day. And I'm going to reduce my brush size. Uh, let's see, about there. No, maybe a little bit smaller. What I want to do here is I want to darken the edges of my pathway. So I'm just going to make some brush strokes around the edge here. It looks pretty intense as I'm doing it, but once I lift it up and kind of look away from my screen and then look back, those changes are not as noticeable. I'd also like to darken some other areas in my image. I have a lot of empty space on the left, which I feel adds to the photo, but it's a little bit too bright. I definitely want the focus of the image to be on that pathway and to that woman. So I'm going to move my cursor over to that side. I'm going to really increase this brush size quite a bit. And then I'm going to brush over this area. And I just did one sweeping brush stroke. I'll do one more and I'm gonna bring it over here as well. 
I'm going to go ahead and click Done at the top. And now I'm going to toggle this on and off so I can see how that looks. Now one thing I do see is that there's a little bit of a halo forming around the lower part of the woman. So I'm going to go back into Start Painting. And instead of trying to correct that with either Lighten or Darken, I'm going to go over to Erase. So now I'm just going to reduce my brush size, and I'm just going to erase what I did just right there. And I'm going to go back to lighten, and I'm just going to get some of this dress, some of this skirt, a little bit brighter. And I'll click Done. And now let me toggle that again, and I think that looks a lot better. I don't have that halo around her anymore. Now the other option inside of this tool is the overall amount slider. So maybe you do all of your edits to this tool and you realize that maybe it's a little too contrasty and you want to scale it back. That's when the slider is very handy. You can just take it and slide it down and it just subdues the effect. Now if I toggle on and off, I still have a really nice edit there, but it's not quite as intense. I think you'll find this tool very useful in your photography. It's a great way to add contour, to add depth to a photograph, and it really works on any image.